Hey guys, so today I'm back and I'm in my kitchen and I thought it would be a great way to kind of kick off the last couple days of school and start the summer by teaching you how to make homemade ice cream. You should have most of these ingredients in your house. The only one I didn't have was either half and half or heavy whipping cream, but that we easily found at Walgreens. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you your ingredients. Go ahead and pause if you need to get those out. And I just wanted to say, if you see me looking off to the side of my screen, I do have the recipe pulled up just so I don't forget anything. So that would be why. But the first thing that I am going to have is two sandwich size Ziploc bags. You can also use quart size. I don't recommend the really small snack size bags. Those will be too small. But I'm gonna have two sandwich size bags and you can double this recipe if you need to. Um, depending on the size of your family. So, two small sandwich size bags. You will need sugar. You will also need um, a little bit of vanilla extract. You will also need salt. You will need two gallon size Ziploc bags and about enough ice to fill it a little more than halfway full. You will also need a cup of either half and half or heavy whipping cream and a cup of whole milk. Make sure you get whole milk um, because I've heard that it doesn't work out quite the same if you use skim milk or 2% fat free, anything like that. So make sure you use whole milk. So the first step is to take your two Ziploc bags, the sandwich size, and double bag them. So for any kids that are watching, which hopefully there are lots, double bagging means put one inside of the other. And you wanna make sure they are both open. So I have two bags in one inside of the other, and they are both open. So the next step is to double bag your two gallon size Ziploc bags, which you can see that I've already done, and Fill it halfway or a little more than halfway if you can, filled with ice. So you can see I've done that here, and now we're gonna put this off to the side. Feel free to pause this video so that you can do those steps, and then you can unpause and do the rest of this. So, so far we have two sandwich size bags inside of each other, and two gallon size bags inside of each other, and the gallon size bag is halfway filled with ice. So, the next step is to, in the little sandwich size bags, you're going to pour one cup of half and half or your heavy whipping cream and one cup of whole milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out. That looks pretty good. So make sure, since we double bagged, that it's going into the inside bag. Go ahead and pour that in. Carefully place your bag somewhere that it won't tip over while you pour your one cup of whole milk. Okay. Once again, make sure you pour into this inside bag. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. Okay. And then what you're going to do is add three tablespoons of sugar. So let me find somewhere to put my bag so it doesn't tip over. Okay, there we go. And get three tablespoons of sugar. I'm using my sugar. There's one. I'm not going to try and move the bag because I'm afraid it's going to tip. One, two, and and I'm just using regular granulated sugar. So three tablespoons of granulated sugar, and then you're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
And once again, if you're choosing to um, double this recipe or make any extra because your family is larger than mine, um, just double the recipe as we go along and make it in separate bags. So one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's be careful to get that all in there. Okay. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is seal this bag. So we're gonna seal both of the sandwich size Zip blocks. I'm gonna seal the one on the inside first. And try and get as much air out of the bag as possible. So seal the first one. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the outer bag and I'm gonna seal it and try and get as much air out as possible. And if it's a little messy, that's okay. I'm gonna try my best to keep it clean, but we know that doesn't always work out. So we're double bagging just so that we can limit the amount of mess and the amount of spillage that we have. So I just double bagged and I sealed and I got as much air out as possible. Now I'm gonna take the gallon sized bags that are full of ice and I have already measured one cup of salt. So it doesn't really matter what kind of salt you use. Um, I actually ended up having to use a mixture because I didn't end up having enough table salt. I ended up using some um, bigger granulated sea salt, but it doesn't really matter because it's not going in your ice. So I'm gonna dump, oh, sorry, not going in your ice cream. It is going in your ice. So I'm gonna dump my one cup of salt, which I've already measured out, into the bag of ice, straight on top of the ice. So I dumped that in. Now I am going to kind of even it out. And I am going to put my smaller bag that is sealed straight into the bag, right on top of that ice and salt mixture. I'm going to put that right inside like this. And I'm going to seal both of those bags once again, trying to get out as much air as possible. This would also be a great lesson on and great practice for how to close Ziploc bags. I know in kindergarten, um, we have some trouble with that for most of our time at snack. So before you go into the next grade, that would be some great practice to do at home. So I have my bag and it is all sealed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause my video and I will be shaking the bag for about five to eight minutes. Now, I don't think Leo, Sparty, and Boone are going to be very helpful in helping me to shake the bag. So I will be on my own shaking the bag, but it would be a fun activity for you guys to pass it around your family. You can practice counting the amount of minutes, um, even maybe practice counting to 60. So a 60 seconds is one minute. So what you'll be doing is doing that about five to eight times for a total of shaking the bag for about five to eight minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause while I do that and I'll be back when my ice cream's ready. Okay, and I am back. I know that was very quick for you guys, but I promise you, I am tired. My arms have been working very hard. So I went ahead and took a sneak peek and opened up my bag. And when I found the bag on the inside, it will be a little wet, so go ahead and dry it off. And then when you open it up, all of the inside is lovely ice cream. So. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that out. And I will show you exactly what it looks like. I probably could have shaken mine just a little bit more, but my arms started getting pretty tired because 
I was the only one shaking. So if you have multiple family members shaking, you might do a little better. So I shook for about eight minutes. So you might want to shake for nine or 10 maybe. So I made my ice cream and if you can see it, it came out lovely. It's very creamy and maybe I'll even do a taste test. All right, let's see. Mm, very good vanilla ice cream. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna work on eating some of this ice cream and saving some of it for later. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you make some summer ice cream, maybe even add some toppings to it. And I miss you guys. I wish I was sharing this ice cream with you and we were making it in our classroom. But I hope you enjoy it with your family. Bye, guys. See ya.